Hey guys, Myron Woolley here. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how I spray my bed with hairspray. Uh, there's a definite technique to it, and if you go do it wrong, you can end up with gloppy, uh, uneven coating. So it's really quite simple. Now, I've somewhat prepared this. Because I'm doing the technique of spraying, I'm not really worried too much about cleanliness, although I did uh, scrape an area in the center clean and then wiped it off with a microfiber cloth. So you can see where the uh, old hairspray ends. So take my can of hairspray, the uh, familiar Aquanet uh, extra super hold stuff. And proper spray application is a side by side motion. You don't go in circles. You don't go all over the place like that. You wanna do a nice and even coat. And I start at the close side, right? Let me move this stuff out of the way. I start at the close side. And the reason I do that is because there's always overspray. And the overspray is going to end up down there, the distal part of the plate. And when you hit that with a fresh hairspray, it will dissolve that overspray. If you do it the other way, if you start farther away and then come this way, what's going to happen is that you're going to hit the distal side with overspray. And the overspray is pretty much dry by the time it gets there. That's why it looks so rough and bumpy, because it doesn't flow out. You have to let this stuff flow out. Very important. So here we go. I'm going to spray the uh, the, the plate now. We're going to go side. They'll start each. <clears throat> excuse me. Each pass is a discrete pass. Notice I'm starting the spray off of the board, coming across, and then taking my finger back off and releasing it and doing it again like this. You don't. You have to take it off. Uh, if you don't, you're going to end up with a, a large amount of uh, clumping in the edges. So let's go some more here. Okay, now I'm going to stop right here. And the reason I'm going to stop is because I want to see if I can show you that overspray I was talking about. It's going to be... Wow, it's not focusing very really well. You can kind of see it right there in the clear spot. That is overspray. That is not a good coat, okay? The good coat you're looking for is going to be liquid and shiny, and it's going to flow out very nicely. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to do the whole plate like this, all the way across. Notice I'm not trying to get a light coat. I want this thing to flow out. Now I may go back and do some crossways, just like that. Just to make sure that it's nice and even. Now that's going to take 10 or 15 minutes to flow out and, uh, uh, and properly set up. So at this time you don't want to turn the heat on. Let it evaporate. Let it flash off. If you hit it with the heat, what's going to happen is that it will skin over. And then the solvent will come up through it and it will mess it up. So you can see now I've got a nice even liquid coat. It's flowing out. And when it's done it will look like there's hardly anything on that glass at all. Um, I minimized the dust. There's a few, there's a little bit of dust on here yet, um, but it's not going to be enough to, to really hurt anything. Okay, well, I hope you guys learned something. Thanks.